All right, this is how we're, we um, do our setup sheet. This is from Evernote. This is your notebook. And from the setup sheet section, you'll click on um, setup sheet, put the cursor over it, click twice. It'll open. And then I'll have to share a page. Okay, um, well, we opened that up. Let me jump in there. And it opens up to your timeline, okay? So you have an Excel workbook that has multiple pages. Okay, if you look here at the bottom, you can see where it says timeline, home, weight, shock. Okay, so you have multiple pages. So in your timeline, this is going to be our weekly report. Okay, we're going to live off of this page, guys. So, you know, day one, you go to the racetrack, you know, start with the date. We'll say, um, you know, 4, 15, uh, 20, 21. And, you know, if you're racing multiple tracks, uh, you know, you can put the track name in and whatever. Okay, so... You might start with a heat race, um, you know, and come back and say, you know, car was tight on gas. Added more rebound. So whatever you do at the racetrack, you need to add to this section, okay? If you come home, and you're gonna you're gonna come home and you're gonna add to it then then add to add more notes to it. When you get when you get down here, create a line at the bottom of the deal and call that that week of racing. And then next week. So like if we had a phone conversation, you know, you you, you might start out next week. Uh, you know, car was too tight. And we might just Continue to add to it, add to it, add to it, add to it, okay? So the timeline is what we're going to live off of. The car is going to start at point A, and it's A, B, C, um, and we're going to make the car better each week, okay? So it, we're, it's based off the timeline. The home page, you'll come in here, and you'll fill out the gray area here. Um, so if you fill it out, name, phone number, email, date, this gray area will transfer to other parts of the form. This down here uh, will report back from other pages. Same with this. So a guy can take a quick look at this page, kind of get an idea where the car's at. Uh, the next page is um, the weight setup, the scale numbers. So you can put it. The scale number here. Um, yeah, that was a bad number. So you put your scale numbers in. Uh, it will calculate your left side, uh, your right side you know, your cross, your rear. So it will do the calculations for you. You can enter whether it's with driver, without driver. Uh, that'll start reporting back to your home page and it'll start, it'll start getting us the information, okay? So that's scale numbers or weight, shocks, brand, series, serial number, valving, G code. G code is generic code. That's the... Uh, so, you know, the seven rebound, three compression number. Um, so valving would be left front one dash 40. 
compression rebound, maybe as a pound number, if you know it, zero. Uh, gas pressure center to center. The little red arrows indicate that there's information there. Load numbers chain, bump, bump gap. Left rear, same thing. Center to center and center to center at full height. Okay. Spring rates, brand rate, height, compressed height, serial ID, load number, like if you do a load stick, uh, load height, which you need to start paying attention to your load height, so measure your ride heights. Wheel load, uh, wheel load at compressed height. Uh, we have a wheel load calculator. Uh, bolt length and ladder. So on our jack bolts, there's a shoulder that you can measure from and get a highly accurate measure with a 12 inch scale. Um, if yours aren't marked A, B, C, D, E, then you need to mark them. So you can take a measurement. It might say two and an eighth uh, C. Okay, so you know with a 500 pound spring in it or a certain amount of load, this is where you wanna be. That's the, the turn you want to be on. Okay, same right front, left front, left rear. Tires, temperatures, uh, pressures, wheel spacers, caster camber, pretty basic. Lead placement, uh, you can put a box over where you, you generally have the lead in the car. Four bar. Uh, angles and lengths at static and at hike, uh, upper length, lower length, how much drop the car has in it, uh, maybe chain drop right and left, three bar, J bar, pinion height from here to the ground, here to the ground, lift arm, air shock. This is, if we was to do an air shock, this is information we need to know. And spring load, uh, like coilover, so like my light guys can do a center to center and a cup to cup, which would be from here to here. And it'll figure wheel load calculations for you. And then we can start saving this information. If you have this information in there, I can sell you a shock and a spring, put it on the smasher, have it set up, send it to you right out the door. So you can click on the, the links below. That's each page of the setup sheet. The timeline is a progressive deal. This will go throughout the entire year. Okay, the, the shock or the spring or, you know, where we got information, this is going to change every time you make a change to the car. Okay, the timeline will be the history of those changes. So very, very important. When you get done, just click save. Go up here, right up here to the top and click that little save icon. So this is Windows 360, okay? When you do that, it'll save it right back into your notebook on Evernote, okay? And if, at that point, if you wanna message me that says, hey, I've, I've updated my notes, if you wanna take a look, if you're happy with the car, then we may, we may or may not need to discuss anything, but, um, but if you're if you're unhappy with the car, then update your notes, message me on Evernotes, and then we'll start the process of working on the car. So basic setups. This is a progressive setup. This is how we win races. So we really need to be doing this. So um, this is the start of 2021.